I'm Colonel Jason Fettig, and I'm here with my colleagues in the President's Own United States Marine Band for another episode of our Digital Rehearsal Hall series. If you haven't watched these before, this is a document of our first rehearsal with a piece of music. Sometimes it's a brand new piece of music for the musicians of the band, and sometimes it's a piece that we've played before and we're revisiting. Today's episode is the latter. We are playing a classic in the band repertoire, Rafe Von Williams' English Folk Song Suite. Let's get started. Turning to an old friend. Here we are. <laughs> I know you do, yeah. So one of the interesting things about the second theme of this first movement is that Vaughn Williams writes for both the solo clarinet and the solo cornet. And I think part of the reason he did that is because different bands have different strengths and it gives those bands options, especially back when this was written in the military bands. We typically do the first uh, time we do it with clarinet uh, instead of solo cornet, and Matt cut out about halfway through that. And I think we'll do that all the way through, uh, Patrick, so we'll, we'll take the second time through with clarinet as well. One of the reasons to do clarinet instead of cornet is that the clarinet has the solo in the third movement, so you get a little bit of variety through the suite. Thank you very much, everybody. It's a good place to stop anyway. Let's go back to the beginning, and then we'll take the da capo after that. Um, if we could get a really solid jump beep bee, jump beep bee, dum -pa. so a little bit on the sprightly side rather than kind of holding back, and then a good solid forte, so that pianissimo in the first bar of the first theme is really super soft and gentle. Um, one of the things that I think we can add more of to, and, and uh, Fred Fennell did this in his interpretation and in his uh, edition, every time you have a tenuto mark, let's call that like an agogic accent. So anytime you have that beep, ba, beep, beep, ba, da, dum, beep, da, dum, bum, even in the soft version, let's put a little bit of a push accent there, it really shapes this folk song. From the top, one more time, please. Shum, beep, beep, shum, beep, beep, good solid in the low brass, and ah. <laughs> Good. 
could let's do even more contrast dynamically between the pianissimo, mezzo forte, piano fortissimo. Let's increase that difference by about 20%. The feel is great. One more time, please. Thank you very much. So since we're doing the clarinet, I don't want Patrick to have to play too loud in this cantabile folk song. So let's take the dynamic down even further, horns, clarinets, all these afterbeats. And if we could put just a little bit of a, a, a la breve shape in it. Shumpara, dira, di, a little bit of kind of wide-eyed sparkle on the, ha on the quarter note, but always in the context of piano. Can we just have the accompaniment once real quick, please, here? Two before that double bar right after the, the uh, right, two bars before the clarinet solo, right on the second theme. You go one, two, sha. Yeah, good. I would do even more dee -da, dee -da, especially maybe in the clarinets to get that color. And clarinets, when you go to the afterbeats in the sixth a bar of this, ba, 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 ba. Let's up that dynamic just a hair because the horns have quarter notes and, and we want to hear that contrast. Everybody, please, second theme. Two bars before Patrick comes in. One, two, and ah. stop for just a second to point something out to our audience. So what the band is doing is fabulous, as always. But the articulation that they have in this, this folk song combination we have with the 6-8 uh, in the woodwinds and then this 2-4 kind of strong theme, Von Williams writes marcato for the low brass, but you notice they're not playing with a real punchy, angry marcato. Instead, it's this heavy, ponderous, kind of proud kind of marcato. They just naturally do that, but it's important to, to not overpunch these notes. In the same time, the woodwinds are playing a real dance kind of quality. A lot of this, again, feels like it's one beat to the bar. Rather than a march, kind of one, two, it's one and one and one. If you can achieve that feeling, the flow across the, the melody and the phrasing is really beautiful. Let's take this one more time. We'll take it the second time to save some time. When we have this little counter melody in solo coronet and first horn, um, this is about eight bars before the first ending. Can you be more uh, expressive? It's hard for everybody else to get softer, so let's just bring this right over the top. Second time, please, through the 6-8. Right at the repeat, second time, and then we'll take it out. Second time, here we go. One, two, and ah! <laughs>
wonderful, everybody. Let's go on to the second movement. So Matt, you're tacit again here to oboe solo. We'll save you for the third movement. Here we are. Just beautiful, everybody. Thank you. One of the interesting things about this second movement is the tempi. So andantino at the beginning, not andante, so not necessarily too slow, but the one that really vexes me is the middle movement, the, the middle part of the, of the folk song, Poco, Alle Allegre, uh, Poco Allegro Scherzando. How fast should this be? Should it be in one? Should it be in three? I think there's some play, some leeway here. It's certainly done at a lot of different tempos uh, throughout the last century. One of the keys for me is where the retard is before the tempo one, which of course would be the same tempo as the very beginning. Vaughn Williams puts the retard only two bars before the main theme comes back at the andantino. He doesn't do four bars. Only two bars is not very much time to slow down from a tempo at the Poco Allegro. So if you go too fast, I'm not entirely certain that we want to go too fast. So I tend to do this a little bit on the slow side, more of a kind of gentle 
slow waltz. You could even almost do it in three. In fact, why don't we just mess around with that for a moment? Can we do the Poco Allegro in three, everybody, just to see what it sounds like? Shum, bum, fee, da, da, dum. Here we go. One, two, three. I don't know. I think that could work too. As long as you've got that lilt, as long as it's one, two, three, one, two, three, strong, weak, weak. The people who have the dotted halves, you can help us with that, this too. I think, again, like the first movement, a tenuto marking is a little bit of a push accent. Ya, di, di. So a little bit of that, a little lingering and kind of a maybe a mezzo piano before you settle down to piano will help us with that. Uh, let's just take the second half of this one more time. Uh, Trevor, gorgeous solo. Thank you very much. Beautiful. We're not going to hear it again, so. Uh, Poco Allegro, please. Back to a one tempo, and we'll take it all the way to the end, please. Poco Allegro. Here we are. One, two, three, and shh. Sorry to stop, but I, I can't let this go. So uh, it's very important that we really take Von Williams at his word. So we're at pianissimo for this kind of second part variation of the theme, and it goes all the way to forte. Let's really open it up. Let's make this a dramatic, warm, but pretty strong crescendo to forte. So that, that diminuendo then for those last four bars is very dramatic as well. Once more, if we could, right where the percussion comes in, this is where everybody's got, uh, starting with the... Um, Gosh, there's no. After the Poco Allegro, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16th bar. Right on the second, oh, second where, statement of the theme. Where is the crescendo? It is uh, right for, it's to forte four bars before tempo one. You don't have it, huh? A so hundred years of parts, and we don't have it in our parts. So. So it it's a two bar crescendo, six before tempo one, all the way to forte and then comes back down to pianissimo two before tempo so one. So the peak of the crescendo is the C? Correct. Yes, thank you. I'm glad we fixed it, we fixed it for posterity. Fantastic. Uh, second half of Poco Allegro, bar 16, right on the clarinets of the eighth notes. One, two, three, and... Softest yet, softest yet. Low brass interrupts. A little bit more expressive now. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's go on to Folk Songs from Somerset, the last movement. Finally, Matt, solo cornet, gets to play. Nice solid mezzo forte here at the beginning. <laughs>
one thing before we go to the second folk song. Percussion, this is done so many different ways, but right before the forte, sometimes uh, conductors will have the, the, the percussion hit it hard. I actually think that the ink is correct, which is that it should still be in piano, but what, you're, what we're doing a little bit, I think, is good, is to put a little bit of an accent on that button before the forte, the fortissimo, both times. So it feels like boom, boom, da, da, bum, 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 just a little bit of an activation for the rest of the band, but uh, I do think it should be in the context of the piano. Let's just take the second half of this, and then we'll go into the 6-8 uh, folk song. Let's do the double bar. Um, the second double bar where we have beep beep ba da ba 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 da ba the, the low brass. This is the if you can find. I know, sorry, we don't have measure numbers. Uh, one. This is the second double bar of the piece, where the, uh, you have mezzo forte. Everybody's got mezzo forte. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> Thank you. Just a few things in this strain before we go on. When we get to the 2-4 two, tootie, um, for those who have the 16th eighths, the little fanfares, clarinets, oboes, horns, uh, cornets, could we maybe just put a tiniest bit of compression on the 16th so it feels like it's alive? da 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 dee da 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 Each one of those statements could have a little bit of a kind of punch to them. Uh, underneath the marcato melody in the low brass. Can we just try those folks, please? This is 2 4, right on the 2 4 fortissimo, just the shadadatatita. Here we go. One, two. Thank you. I think what I'm missing is I think the 16th into the first eighth are a little too squared off, and maybe we need a little bit of an accent on beat two each time. So really go after that beat two each time. Just four bars of that. One more time. Four bars. One, two, and ah. That's it, everybody. Thank you. Let's take first time at the trio. First time at the 6 8. Shum, beam, beam, bum. And back down to pianissimo for everybody, piano and the melody. Here we go. One, two, trio. <sighs>
so much, everybody. And thank you very much for joining us once again for our digital rehearsal hall. We hope to see you again very soon.